Proud of You Oud by Fragrance World. We'll make you proud of your choice after you buy it. Coming up. Hello YouTube, hello dear Pragmatics, welcome to another video. Today we take a look at Proud of You Oud by Fragrance World. As you guess it, this one is similar to Stronger With You Oud by Armani and almost all other flankers from the Stronger With You line. Without hesitation, let's jump into the presentation. So, this is the box. Simple black box. It's glossy and it will collect fingerprints like crazy. This is the bottle. Of course, the bottle is also a fingerprint magnet. It's also glossy, it's elegant. The cap is metal, feels heavy, feels well done. It has a plastic insert inside. The atomizer, let me show it. It has the Fragrance World logo on top. The sprayer is another color, which is a very good thing. It's steady enough. Nice, very nice. Pressurized atomizer, perfect mist, no drops, good load. This type of atomizer gives you Dior vibes, la French touch. And now let's go to Fragrantica and see the official notes. Nah, I'm just kidding, there is no official notes. But there are some notes and they are according to me. On top you have clary sage and lavender, on the middle you have lavender again, vanilla, cinnamon and plum, and on the base you have sandalwood, leather, amber, cedarwood and patchouli. And now the most important thing, how it smells. Well, <laughs> now after three months, it smells good for a cheapie. But when I first got it, my instant reflex was to throw it away. The opening was a complete mess. It was awful. I mean, it smelled like burnt tire mixed with burnt plastic and some kind of lavender. Basically smelling like an EV vehicle when it's catching fire. Now, after the maturation period is acceptable and smells like a good chippy. Again, like a good chippy. Now, I know what you are thinking. Your favorite YouTuber said, proud of you Wood, it's 90% close to the original. This is the perfect dupe, amazing, no? But they always say that. They are like, buy this. This is 90% close to the original Bleu de Chanel. Perfect dupe, trust me, bro. Buy this, this is 99% close to the original Creed Royal Wood. Best Arabic perfume. Trust me, bro. If you want the real deal, you need to watch this video. And now let's dive in and analyze the evolution of the scent profile. The opening is still medicinal and pungent, but it's way better than the old pile of burnt plastic and rubber. You still get a rubbery smell in the opening, but now it's not burnt. After you that, you get hit with a blast of lavender, which feels very natural and a herbaceous fresh scent. After a few minutes, it slowly switches from a moderate, fresh and aromatic scent into a warm and spicy perfume. Vanilla starts to get the surface and uh, gives sweetness to the lavender. The opening, it's a roller coaster, starts rubbery, fresh and aromatic and ends up warm, sweet and spicy. In my opinion, it's far from the original Stronger With You Oud, like you are from your crush. Into the middle, you get a sweet lavender with vanilla and cinnamon. Sometimes almost smells like ice cream vanilla on top of a spicy dessert, spicy warm dessert, making it feel gourmand and having a temperature contrast, cold warm. If you don't like the aggressive stronger with you sweetness, you will like this one because the overall sweetness is toned down and controlled. Occasionally, feels like I get a, like a dark plum note, well ripped plum, if you know what I'm speaking, if you ever taste it. Also because of the plum, you get a light booziness in the background. The heart is moderate sweet, moderate gourmand and has a, that cold warm contrast. 
Finally, into the dry down you keep a touch of the lavender, but now everything goes warm. Less gourmand and it gets woody and leathery. It switches from a gourmand perfume into an elegant and mature scent. The sandalwood and the leather leads the way with a slight smoky touch from the cedarwood. You get a smooth leather, almost sweet, but it's smooth leather, with creamy and smoky woody notes. Makes it feel manly, elegant and mature. That plum note from the middle now smells like a dried plum. If you ever smelled dark dried plums, you know that dried sharp sweetness. The amber boosts the coziness, makes it extra warm and inviting. Time to time you get a green freshness from the patchouli. There is nothing too obvious, you get more of the patchouli in the far dry down, but in the opening of the dry down you get less of the patchouli. The dry down is the part where you get the illusion of the agar wood, hence the name wood. It's not preeminent and smells like a westernized agar wood. Sweet, friendly, not aggressive, not animalic, not nothing. Now, the most thing you get in this, especially if you have a new bottle, is that burnt tire smell. Which some of you, or some YouTubers would say that is the wood, which is not true at all. And now let's resume all the things that I said. First of all, the three months maturation period, it's a must for this one. Sometimes less, sometimes more depending on your batch. Because of that burnt tire and plastic smell will stuck to your nose like super good. Starts funky and fresh, goes aromatic, moderate sweet and moderate gourmand. Has a good ice cream on top of a warm spicy dessert accord and ends up like an Italian fragrance. With that said, because of how the cinnamon, how the sandalwood and how the patchouli is made here and how everything works together, you can easily detect the Arabic origins of this perfume. But you will say the original is named Stronger with you Oud, so makes reference to that part of the world. Yeah, but this one, you can easily detect the cheap dupe Arabic origins. Now, don't be too sad, it's a good choice if you like moderate, sweet, spicy, woody and leathery scents. Except the opening, everything else is smooth and inviting and for the price, you get an interesting scent profile. And now let's discuss performance. Overall the performance is weak for this type of Arabic scent. And I know that some YouTubers will say that this is nuclear, this is better than the original, everything else. No, it's not. Longevity you can get around 3 to 4 hours depending on how much you spray. Projection you get weak projection for the first hour, but since this is a cozy scent, makes women come closer, I think it works with a not so big projection. And sillage, you get weak sillage for 1 hour, and I noticed that if you spray it on 100% synthetic clothes like polyester, you get better performance. When it comes to seasons and time of the day, Definitely this one is a cold season scent, but not too cold because the performance is as good as a smartphone battery. And for sure it's not as good as other YouTubers say. Now wear occasions, good choice for intimate moments and casual events, but since it's not aggressive, can also be good as a office scent or some kind of, a, let's say, work event. Now when it comes to the age, is a people pleasing scent, inviting, warm, so I don't think there are any age restrictions here. Now when it comes to who can wear this fragrance, the opening and half of the middle it's mainly, but after that crosses into the unisex utopia. Let's see what the thumb of approval has to say about Proud of You by Fragrance World. Do I like this fragrance? Uh, uh, let's say yes. Yes, but I like it after the initial three months, after the initial three months maturation period. Because depending on your luck, and I had none, when you buy a new bottle, it's like a tire factory, it's selling you liquid rubber. And by the way, just in case some of you buy this for the agarwood, well, there is none in this bottle. 
You get the illusion of the agar within the dry down, but it's just a dream. Like the dream you had with your crush finally giving you a chance to get her. Now for the 22 euro price, if you want a cozy perfume for the cold seasons, which smells good and inviting, I'll say go for it. This can also be good to use as a car scent or to spray it inside of your home. And now the final question is, will I buy this if I could taste it before? For the original opening, I'll say not a chance. For the opening after three months, I say yes. Now, is this 90% or 95% similar to the original like all other YouTubers say? No, it's not. This gets around 60 to 65%, but this is only when you zoom out of the picture and you ignore all the details. This is why you need to subscribe and this is why you need to watch my videos. I know, shameless promotion, shameless request. This is to defend yourself against the lords of hypes or hype lords and their 90 to 95% similar clones they always say about anything, any perfume they get their hands on. They will be like, yeah, buy this, 95, 99%, 10, 10x cheaper, the best dupe, better than the original, <laughs> which makes me laugh every time I hear it. I'm not like that. I just give you the real deal. And that's all for today, dear Pragmatics. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share your feedback with me. I want to say a big special thank you to all my current subscribers. You are the reason everything happens. If you are new here and if it's your first time and you stay until the end of this video, it means that I'm doing something good, something you like, something useful for you. So I will invite you to subscribe and join the family. All of you, thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, thank you for being here. That's all for today, until next time, take care, smile and smell amazing. Bye.